I was trying to make my site on Rainmaker look like the old site. I just thought John made a fantastic point and I wanted to kind of expand on it just a hair. That is a big mistake. That sucks a crap ton of time and it typically sucks the time before you get into the content creation, right? So because if they're if they're tinkering with the design of the website and this, the layout and the setup and all of that stuff, then they're not creating content. Rather than like John was saying, which I totally agree with, I learned a mile through experience as well, much as humanly possible, you wanna set it and forget it. As far as the design, you can always update the, the entirety of the design in the future, but as far as to get started, it's content creation. You have to start building that content putting your voice out there and developing your voice. Amy Schmittauer made me chuckle, but she gave a little acronym and P was for practice. And she's like, you know, P is for practice because that's just self-explanatory. <laughs> and it is. And you need that at the outset of your website for your business. If you're doing content marketing for your business, the website look and feel is very much secondary. The primary is the content creation. It's not building a anything <laughs> other than an archive of whatever content that you're creating. And understand that when, when I'm talking about that, I'm also inherently saying, hey, by creating this additional content, you're giving yourself the opportunity to repurpose that content in different mediums and different channels going forward. And you don't have to execute all of that at the very beginning. You really need to start with content. Get a content plan together and then start doing it and do it regularly. Say, I'm gonna publish so many times or a week, a month, but say you're gonna do it and then even though no one's watching, because <laughs> trust me, they, no one will be watching at first, you want to still make sure that you hold yourself accountable to every single time, not just delivering content, delivering great content. Like you want to put your best foot forward every single time. There really is no throwaway content. But with that said, understand that six weeks, 60 weeks, 600 weeks down the line of constant, you know, continuous practice, your output, your best output is going to be markedly better, but it, it takes that repetition in order for it to happen. You have to have that, you know, consistent practice. Any business owner that wants to grow their own audience that I can get into Rainmaker platform from day one and have them focus not on the website or any of that, but focus on Starting out with the bare foundation, you know, with good bones, don't get me wrong, great bones, fantastic bones, but starting with that bare bones and, you know, that you can flesh out and grow and, you know, build on over time. But, it, the, but that's so secondary and everybody gets caught up in the website, but that's secondary. What's primary is creating content and growing your audience. So that's the big thing. You have to grow your audience. Your audience requires great content because you're not going to grow an audience without giving them something consistently that they like, that they love preferably, but they're going to at minimum have to start out liking them and liking you. And so that's why when you're putting out content, you can't be anything but yourself. You know, I'm sure people look at this and go, oh, well, you know, he needs to dress up. He needs to not look so bad. <laughs> he needs to not be ugly. He needs to, you know, not be white or so white or, you know, whatever, right? He needs a better chair. Why does he have, you know, he has a cat and three dogs that he's always talking about. What the hell do they have to do with this business or blah, blah, blah. They're me. End of the day, you have to understand that when you're creating content to grow your audience through your website, you have to be genuine yourself, you know? It, you can't do anything. If you put on airs, people will know. You have to be yourself so that people can either relate or move on. Because you're not going, let's face it, you are not for everyone. You're not Matt Damon, where the majority, other than Jimmy Kimmel, <laughs> with their long running feud, but you know, everybody likes Matt Damon. Go make The Martian or whatever, and it'll appeal to 
you know, most everybody. There will be few and far in between the engagements at the beginning because no one's watching. That's the other thing. All the statistics, etc., are going to be low to begin with. That's how it works. It's supposed to be like that. If it was easy, literally everyone would do it. At this point, everyone literally can do it. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I didn't have a computer until I was in my 30s. I am not a digital native by any means. I found OBS yesterday, watched a couple YouTube videos, read some stuff, kind of tinkered with it. I'm up and running. I mean, I'm streaming this, no one's watching it. So you have to be yourself, you have to be consistent, and you have to get started immediately. Consistently creating the best possible content, any engagement that happens, you are right there on it.